Hello and welcome. It's Leah from buildasitewithleah.com. In under 30 minutes, this tutorial will show you how to build and launch an online store using Wix. Wix is a drag and drop editor that's super easy to use even if you don't have any technical skills. You'll be able to choose from hundreds of designer made templates for every business imaginable. You can change anything you want and create your professional e-commerce website quickly and easily. From step one of my website, which you'll find on the right, you'll come to this page. Next, you'll click this link to open Wix in a new tab. And then in the previous tab, you can follow along with my video. When you get to this page, click start now. Go ahead and create your free account by signing up here. You can also log in with Facebook or Google+. Once your details are entered, click Login. On this page, it asks you what kind of website do you want to create. It helps Wix to narrow down some templates for you to give you a good start. So simply choose Online Store. And now you have two choices. You can start with Wix ADI or Artificial Design Intelligence or with the Wix Editor. Wix ADI is a really cool new feature from Wix where they ask you a bunch of questions and then make a site for you according to your needs. Right now it can only be used with a certain amount of apps and it has its own editor. So while it's great, I prefer to help you create your website with the Wix editor so that you have the maximum number of options to make the site your own. So let's click there, start with the Wix editor. And now you come to Wix's professionally designed templates where you get to browse and choose the online store website template that you love. So go ahead and scroll down and browse the pages and pages of online store templates for a variety of businesses. On the left, you also see two more options for narrowing down templates. You can use the category section here where the online store section is divided into clothing and accessories, health and beauty, home and electronics. And once you click, you'll see even more um, specific categories underneath those main headings. Or you can go back up to the top here and use a search feature. For example, I can enter in t-shirt. And now I have templates that are more geared to clothing, t-shirt and fashion. If you see something that piques your interest, go ahead and hover over the template and click view. This is going to give you an idea of how the site will function in real time. Once it loads, you'll be able to click the different pages as any visitor would and see how the site behaves. Just keep in mind that anything that you see, and that includes the colors, the images, the layout, it can all be customized. But when you start with a professional template, it really gives you direction and a lot of the work uh, as far as how the site looks and functions is already done for you. So it's a great way for beginners to get that professional online presence and create their store without a lot of extra cost and hassle involved. I do also want to mention that people ask me about changing templates once they choose one. So what you need to know is that once you start off with a template, you need to stick with it or you need to start over with a fresh template. There's no way to just swap one out for the other when you've already done some work. And it's not really a problem because Wix allows you to create as many sites as you want. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing a template. Take your time so that you can start off with the one that you want to stick with. So on this page, if you liked the template and how it functions, then you would go ahead and click this button, edit this site. If not, you would simply go back to the previous page and keep browsing templates. So for this example, let's use this template. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this site. And now that it's loaded, you are in what's called the Wix website editor. So we're going to take a brief tour to get comfortable with all the features and then we're going to begin to edit the site. Across the top of the Wix website editor, you'll find the main navigation bar. The most important thing are the pages. These are the different pages that are included with this template. And if you want to work on a different page, you simply click the page and it'll take you there and you can carry on. I'll be explaining more about how to make changes with pages, but that's where you can find them. Site contains everything 
you need to do with your site. So saving it, uh, publishing it, upgrading, exiting the Wix website editor, and so forth. You can hide or show the toolbar here on the right by clicking this little box beside toolbar. The grid lines is checked off and you'll see them showing up here and across the top. And the grid lines are important because they allow your site to be viewer friendly on any size device. So while you're working, you want to keep the main elements inside those lines. And that is what people will see on tablets and phones and so forth. Next, you'll see the help. So keep that handy because Wix has a really great support system with a written content, videos, screenshots, so you can access it 24 seven from this section right here. We'll discuss, be discussing how to upgrade and connect your store uh, later on. But for now, I just want to show you where you can do that from the editor. Zoom out in reorder is a way to view and organize all the sections on your page at once. Very easy to work with. And in step two, I actually have a video specific on uh, using the zoom out and reorder. So have a look at that if you need to. Undo and redo are handy buttons to keep in mind. If you want to switch to the uh, mobile view of your site to work on that, you simply click the mobile view and it'll pop up and then you can make changes. Again, I have a video on that in step two. And just keep in mind that Wix includes the mobile view of your site for free. And the Wix store is also optimized for that. So that means if someone's shopping from their phone, they're going to have a great experience. Save is very important. You want to do that regularly. Preview means you'll be able to have a look at your changes in real time. So feel free to use that anytime. And then of course, publish makes your website live online for the world to see. Great. So that's the navigation bar across the top. Over on the left, you'll see various buttons. If I hover, you'll see what they're for. So background add allows you to add various features to your site. We'll talk about more, more about that in a minute. Here's the app market where you can add features. Uh, including the store, but since you started with a store template, they've actually already added that Wix stores here for you. And that's why you see this added button. Here's where anything that you upload to the site, your images, documents, and so forth, they'll be found all here under my uploads. If you want to add a blog, you can start blogging right from this button. So you'll use the buttons to add elements. Now, if you want to um, make changes or customize the elements that you've added, then you'd go over here to the toolbar on the right. So once you actually start working, for example, if I click to change text, you'll see that some of the tools, the icons on the toolbar went dark. So that means now they're live and then I can use those to make adjustments. And lastly, I just want to mention this little up arrow at the top for hiding controls. So let me click on that and you'll see the buttons on the left and the toolbar disappear. And that is really handy because sometimes these elements are blocking things that you want to work on. So keep that in mind. You can remove them, have a good look at the site, work on things and put them back when you need to. Great. So I hope you're feeling a little bit more comfortable. Just remember, as you get working on the site, you're going to see how easy it is to use Wix's drag and drop editor. So let's get working now. We'll start with the home page and then we'll go from there. All right. So to change anything, in the menu, you would click on top of the menu and these buttons will pop out, uh, pop up. So you can manage the menu from here, but we'll also show you how to do that from the pages section. You can alter the layout, change the design to have a different look and so forth. So you've got a lot of options here. If you click to the right where you don't see anything, then you can actually change the header. So the background that you see here, let me go ahead and click on design. And I'm just going to scroll down and apply a different color to give you the uh, idea of how fast things can be adjusted here. So it's as simple as that. So you can play, with, play, play around with that and find something that suits um, the look of your shop. So what you're doing here is really trying to give your brand that personalized look, but the template is going to give you a boost, a head start. So we want to change our business name. So we're going to click on the text and click edit text. And then you simply add the name of your shop. 
great. And the text setting bo box pops up, allowing you to actually alter the font if you wanted. So let me just highlight the font. And then if I chose something else, you'd see the different look that you can uh, achieve depending on, on your brand. There's a lot to choose from, so scroll down and make your choice. The font size can be changed two ways. You have a slider bar and then a number that can be punched in here to give it uh, a different look, larger or smaller. If you wanted a different color, click on the icon that has an A with a teardrop and then play around with the different color options to see what suits your brand. Okay, you got plenty of options to choose from and that's all customized by the text settings box that pops up when you edit your text. Great. Now use these little drag handles to move the element up or down the page, by, but it keeps your page layout intact. So notice what happens here. I can push this a little lower if I wanted. I can go higher. It's going to adjust automatically. So you do have a lot, a lot of flexibility. Now these pictures are contained in a showcase strip. And if I click preview, you're going to see that the images actually keep on revolving. So let's go back to the editor because now what you're going to want to do is change these to the images of your own products. So if you click on an item and click change images, you're going to see the images that are already uploaded. And then from here, all you have to do is uh, add an image and delete the images that are here and add your own. So to add an image, you're going to click add images. And of course, you're going to want to up upload your own great product photos. So I recommend that you do that. And you would click upload images, click the file from your computer, and then add it to the gallery. It's as simple as that. And then you're going to have your own images instead of the stock ones that they started you off with. And you'll see when I hover over that, the image, you have the little delete icon, which will just remove it. It's as simple as that. Now, because you started with an online store template, Wix has already gone ahead and added from the app market this app or add-on feature called Wix Stores. And once it's added, the button appears here for you to customize everything in your shop. It adds the shop page, including three hidden pages. One is a detailed product page, a shopping cart page, and a thank you page. So you'll see, uh, a visitor will see those hidden pages as they work through the buying process. Now, when you want to start customizing your shop, you're going to need to open up your store and click get started. Once I clicked get started, I was given this pop-up bo box, which encourages me to upgrade to Wix stores. So I'm going to mention here that you can add and set up Wix stores for free. But for guests to make purchases and for you to be able to connect your own domain name, your own store name, and have more features, you're going to need to upgrade to one of Wix's e-commerce plans. But if you consider everything that they include for you, you're really getting an awesome deal in able to have the full functionality of an online store with a drag and drop editor. I'm just going to click over to Wix's page to show you the features that are included when you upgrade to the e-commerce plan. You'll be able to connect again your personal domain name so your site will have uh, its own name instead of the Wix branded name. You can accept payments through a choice of payment methods, track orders and receive order notices, track store inventory, offer shipping by weight, and offer secure purchasing with SSL encryption. So everything to do with purchasing and so forth will be included in the premium plan with full functionality. So to be taken seriously, you're going to need to upgrade to a premium plan. I'm going to discuss your options at the end and you'll see how reasonable the options are as far as cost goes. So let's click maybe later for now. Again, you're going to be able to customize and set up your store as you wish by clicking on get started and then coming to this page where it says manage your store. Click on manage your store and now you have all 
the features ready at your fingertips to customize your store and add your products, the pricing, the descriptions, and so forth. Once you upgrade, you'll be able to manage everything past the payment uh, portion, and that includes shipping and taxes and so forth. Wix is really cool. They've built in the features for you to offer a coupon to promote sale items, to send a shout out email to let people know about things related to your store and set up your business. So you'll have everything you need here from the manage stores section and the question mark in the bottom right is going to give you any help that you need along the way. So now we're back to the first page which is our shop page and we're going to carry on down. The last section is the footer. Again this is shown on every page of your website and right now it's made up of the social bar and also this little copyright message. So let's start with the social bar. You can click on it and then click set social links and very simply you'll be able to add and remove any icons to match the social media sites that you have and if you want to add more icons for example say you have Instagram which is very popular for fashion sites, you can click on Instagram on the left and you'll have your options and then you can simply click one to add it to your gallery there at the bottom. All right, I should have added the one that actually matches. So let's just go back down, Instagram, and I'm gonna add this one here. Great, and then now when I click on an item, it's here and then I'm going to uh, type in my link so that it actually goes to my specific site. So here's where you type in the link. So adjust that as needed and everything is, a, is connected and applied right away. The entire social bar can be moved just by clicking on it and then just dragging it wherever you would like it to be. You'll notice that purple lines pop up when you're moving things around and that's to help you with alignment. Next we have the copyright message. So if you click on it as you would on any text, the edit text button pops up. You simply click on that and then change the text, the font, the size, and even the color. So you have a lot of options to play with there. And lastly, if you want a different background, click uh, off the social bar or text and then you'll see the buttons pop up for that and click design and then you have strips that you can use to get a different look. And that's it. It's applied right away and you've got a different feel for your site already. Excellent. So now we're ready to move on to the next page which is called the About page. The About page is very important because it gives people an idea of the story behind your shop, who you are and what they can expect. So it's about you, but it's also about your customers as well. And I'll be having tips in my newsletter and on my site to help you with that page. Again, you're going to change the three main elements here, which is the text in the title. Again, click on it, click edit text, and you're good to go. The paragraph areas as well, they're gonna adjust as you uh, add or remove text. So for example, if I wanted to edit the text and then I removed a bunch of text, that section adjusts to fit the actual text I have there. To change the image, click on the image itself and you'll see change image. You can also apply different design elements, crop, filters and so forth. Let's go ahead and change the image. Of course, you're going to want to upload your own, but I'm just going to pull up a free image of a t-shirt and then I'm just going to click on it, choose image, just so you can see how it changes right away. Use the drag handle to move the whole image anywhere you like. And lastly, I want to show you a cool feature you can use, and that is to have somebody be able to click on the image and then it takes them to your product page where they can make a purchase. So to do that, you'd simply select the image and then select this little link icon. And then it's asking you, where do you want to link it to? 
So here's my shop page and then I can choose from that shop page my product page and click done and now it's going to allow a person to click that image and be taken to the product page. Let me show you how that's done when I preview the website. So here we are on the page. I'm going to click the image and now up pops my product page. Cool. Of course I'd have to change that in my store to match the product. So we're back in the editor and now we're going to move on to the next page which is called Store Locator. So if you ever want to change the name of one of your menu items, simply click on the circle and click Rename and you'll be able to type it in right there. On the page itself, you can click on the title to change the text as needed, play with the fonts and colors, and then all of this is simply text except for this line here which you can move around. It's pretty much straightforward on that page. Next, frequently asked questions, important for an online store. Go ahead and customize. It's basically made up of text. You can add your personalized message. Also add a bit of personality here so people know that you know, you're friendly and that they'll have no problem shopping with you. And lastly, the contact page. Very important for people to be able to ask questions and get in touch. So right now we have got a contact form that's already been added for you and you'll want to make sure that that contact form is going to reach you. So you'll need to click on it and then set your email to the address that applies. If you didn't want some of these elements, for example, you didn't really need someone to type in a subject, you would scroll down to the bottom here and uncheck the box beside any of the elements that you didn't want. So when I click to remove that check mark, you'll see that subject was now removed from my form. If you want to play with the layout or design, you can use the icons, the paintbrush, and then the layout button here at the top. Here's some text that needs to be edited, your social bar again, you're going to set your social links. Um, it's just another place to make it easy for people to share your website page. And then the last thing that I want to show you is adding a Google map because it's pretty easy to do that and adds that professional element. Again, another way to make it easy for people to find you. So first what I'm going to do is make some room for the map. I'm going to use the drag handle and just pull down this page to make some room. Next I'm going to use the Add button on the right and I'm going to go down to Contact and on the Contact tab you're going to see both Forms and Maps. So you can um, add a form or map to any template. Sometimes you're starting from scratch so you're going to need to add your own. Of course in this case they gave you the form and now we're going to take this map here and we're simply going to just drag it onto the site. Close the box and now it's simply a matter of putting it into place and resizing it. You can use those little dots to do that. Remember I want everything to stay inside those dotted lines so that on any device it's going to look right. Now once that is getting looking how you want it to look, what you can do is set the map address and the marker to match your shop. So you're going to click on the map and click change address and go ahead and type in your address. The map will change and what do you want to show on this marker? So right here you can add the name of your store and it changes right away. So it, it looks really professional and again you can move any of these elements around, you can make the map smaller, you can just customize this page to get it looking exactly how you like. Any of the pages on your pages menu can actually just be reordered using that drag and drop feature. So you just simply click on it and then move it to the location that you want and it would automatically be changed in your header area as well. 
to add a page, go to add page. You can add it right here. It's going to pop up, type in your title and you're done. To remove it, you can just delete the page. And you can even create sub pages very easily from the circle icon at the bottom at the end. Another great thing you can do is go to the Wix app market and browse some other apps that you can add to bring on specific features to your online store. You can add a search bar, a Facebook like pop up, a live chat and more. Search the apps here, hover over the apps and you'll get more details as well as whether they're free or involve a cost. And the last thing we want to do is walk you through the saving, publishing and upgrading process. So to save your site, you can go to the top right corner and you'll see this box pop up. This is the name that Wix will give you for your domain name if you stick with the free version. It's made up of three components, username.wixsite.com slash the name of your store. So in my case, I edited it and I put T world in here. So this is the only part that you can customize with the free domain name. Now, as I mentioned, you will want to upgrade to have a professional online store. You want to unlock those features in the Wix stores app to allow people to pay online, take care of shipping taxes and so forth. You also want to be able to connect your own branded domain. The free one includes Wix's name. So it's putting attention on Wix instead of your own store. So it's going to look professional. It's going to be easier for people to remember. And you're going to have a bunch of other features that come with the upgraded plans. So let's click upgrade now, and then we can discuss, discuss your options. Great. So here we are on the premium plan upgrade page. And right off the bat, you'll notice you have a 14 day money back guarantee on all Wix premium plans. So you can go ahead and test drive the plan for two full weeks. And if you change your mind, that guarantee is there to back you up. So now as you scroll, you'll see you have four options for upgrading and adding the Wix store features. I recommend the most popular plan called the unlimited store because it's generally the best bang for your buck. Let's go over the features that are included. So right off the top, you'll see you can accept online payments for the Wix store. You'll have unlimited bandwidth. So even if you're uploading, you know, high quality images for your products and so forth, your site is going to load smoothly and your visitors will have a great experience. 35 gigabytes of storage allows you to upload lots of space to upload all your images and videos without running out of room. Normally the cost of your domain renewal is extra, but here in this plan, Wix is including a voucher so that you can get one year free. With the free plan, you will have Wix ads on your site. But when you upgrade, they remove all the Wix ads as mentioned here. So all the focus stays on your brand. Now for uh, there's a $108 value included in the form of two premium apps. One is called site booster, which helps you drive more traffic to your site and be found on search engines, which is obviously very important for a professional site. And then form builder is great for collecting contact information, generating leads, customer support so you'll be able to create any type of form that you need for your site. As far as your emails, you'll have 20 email campaigns that you can put out and you can send out 50,000 individual emails per month so you can keep your customers informed of what's going on with your store. So a great value there and once you make your selection, you just have to click select and then you'll be on to the next screen where you can select your unlimited store plan subscription. Now it's tempting to go with the monthly subscription, but I just want to point out that it does not include a free domain voucher and premium apps. And you remember those apps itself were about $108 of value. So by the time you add those things on top and pay for your domain, you're boosting your costs a lot. So personally, I prefer to save the 35% and go with the yearly subscription. And that includes the domain voucher and those two free premium apps. Click select when you're done. So here's the page where you're going to be entering your payment information. They accept a variety of cards and at the bottom give you a summary of the amount that's going to be charged. And once again, remember you have that 14 day money back guarantee. 
So once you enter everything in, go ahead and click Submit Purchase. Excellent. And now you get to use that free domain voucher to secure your unique domain name. When you see this screen, you'll see a search bar and all you have to do is enter the name that you want for your site. So I entered tworld.com and I'm going to click search and it will tell me whether that name is free for me to use. So I got a red error message telling me it's not available and then they give me other suggestions. You don't have to take them, but you can use them for reference. I'm going to try tworldonline.com and see if that is accepted. Great, it is available. So I'm going to double check the spelling, tworldonline.com, perfect. And then I can click get it. Now I've secured that domain name for my premium site. Excellent, now we're on the page where you choose the registration period for your domain name. You remember that I told you you get a free domain voucher and it's mentioned right here. So I get one year free and in view of that, I'm going to click the one year option and then I actually get that applied for free. But you can go ahead and you know sign up for two or three years if you prefer to just get that payment done at once. So once that is selected, you'll click continue. Go over all your contact information to make sure that everything is correct. And once you're done, just click continue at the bottom. So we're almost there. T World Online will soon be yours, it mentions. And I can choose whether to have that domain name made with a private registration. So that actually protects my identity from being found out. Uh, it prevents domain related spam and domain hijacking. And these days, um, you can't be too careful. Adding another layer of protection is always a great idea. I always add this to all my websites and it's only another $9.90 per year. So make your choice and then click continue. Now you need to, to submit the purchase for the uh, domain privacy. So just review this page, click submit purchase. And on this last screen, you have the option to purchase a personalized mailbox. So that means you'll get an email address that matches your domain. It's around another $50, so it's up to you whether you want to buy it now or just use a free email address that you already have and connect that to your website. Make your choice and then you are done. Congratulations, you're now the owner of a premium Wix website with all the e-commerce features that you need to run a professional online store. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please contact me if you have any questions about anything to do with your online store. And also keep working through my guide because you're going to find a host of other information to take your site to the next level. Thanks so much and I'll see you again. Take care.